Welcome to another Coventry University Open Day. I'm JD from Free Radio, host of another Open Day here in Coventry. Uh, if you're watching this and you're close by, it's your chance to come down, have a nose round and see what the university is all about. It's like an all doors open policy. Come and have a look round. Now, I'm in one of the newest buildings of the university and I'm with Charlotte, who's a student ambassador. If you come into the open days, you see any of these guys in blue, if you're lost or have any questions, they know everything there is to know about this university. Don't you, Charlotte? Nod, just nod, just nod. There we go. Um, if you've got any questions, by the way, feel free to put them in the comments section and the student ambassadors that are looking after social media will get back to you today. Now, Charlotte, please explain where we are. So we're in the Alison Gingell building, so it's the newest building in Coventry University. Um, it got officially renamed this week as well. Um, so we're in the lobby at the moment, so Starbucks is next to us. Everyone loves well. a Starbucks. So we're at the heart of the HLS faculty, so the Health and Life Sciences. So courses that are included are everything from your health courses, so your nursing, your midwifery, um, operating departmental practice, to your life sciences, so your biomed sciences, or exercise sciences, stuff like that. Um, so you've got everything that you could possibly need for HLS in this building, so I'll and, and show you around. It costs millions to build this, yeah. and like you say, it's the newest building, it's so impressive. And I think it was opened by royalty, wasn't it? Yeah, so Will and Kate came and opened the building. That's a great. few months ago, so that was impressive. We're going to give you a look round so you can see it for yourself. Um, we can't explore all of it today because there's lots of uh, talks happening. So we're going to take you to an, an ambulance. They've got an actual ambulance inside the building. Uh, we're going to check out the lab. Um, also, we're going to see the apartments and there's one more. Uh, the wards. We're going to take you to the wards. But can I just show you one thing? If you come into the open day today, get to this building because... Get Love Island, got your own Coventry University water bottle. Look at that. There you go. Okay, Charlotte, following you, where are we going first? Straight back to the ambulance room. So we're going to the ambulance. Like I said, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments section and the team that are looking after social media will get back to you today. If you can't make today's open day, there is plenty of other chances to come and explore the university. You'll see why Coventry University has been named one of the best in the UK. So as you can see, there's talks happening, there's loads of people here today, there's people working. They're not actors, they are actually working. Um, so, when I said there's a real ambulance here, this is what I meant. And real paramedics. So, uh, Charlotte, I think for some people it might be obvious why it's here. Explain the idea behind this room, what it's all about. So. In the Alison Gingell building, it's all about the patient journey for the health courses. So we start in the ambulance room with the paramedics treating the patients, and then it works our way all the way up to the wards, the operating theatre, and then to the recovery with the physiotherapists and occupational therapists. Um, so it's a very practical building, so there's no lecture rooms in this building. However, it's all about applying things that you learn in your lectures to a practical environment. Oh, so, so there's no sit down, write, learn no, kind of here. It's, kind it's, of all all yeah. it's all hands on. It's all about. Oh, we've got a patient coming learn. in, we've got a patient coming in. You might want to watch this. Yeah, one more go. And then we're going to go up this ramp so you'll feel it. But we'll go up this one. Okay, yeah, come on, come on. isn't real, we're all no, okay. There's, there's, no the um, there's a mock car wreck outside, so it's for the paramedic side for the students, so then come in um, and they do like a fake scenario and, stuff, and they come in and they just demonstrate what paramedics are all about. Yeah. Yeah. That was so real, I actually thought That's somebody, I, I got a bit freaked out, yeah. Um, so there you go, so there's the ambulance room. And like Charlotte said, it's all about the practical side of learning here. You can see the car wreck here, actually. Let's just take you through the window. So I guess, Charlotte, they set up the scenario of a real life car accident situation. And like you say, then what we just saw was a reenactment of what would happen 
so the students get first hand experience of what to expect in the real world, right? Yeah, so they want to, especially for like first years, they want to give you the practical experience before you head out on your placement, so you're kind of more prepared. Um, I believe they also have actors in that have had first hand experience of being a patient with the wow, Westminster okay. Public Service, so they come in and they act out their situation and what they've gone through. Wow, they're all still going. Okay, where to next? Upstairs. Upstairs. Follow up. If you're a person that uses Twitter, you can follow Coventry University at Cov Campus. Tweet any questions that you have there as well. The open day is until 3.30 today, so if you're about in Coventry, Come down if you're a bit further afield and you want to explore. Like I say, check out the Coventry University website and social media platforms and it will list all the other open days. So we're now on the first floor. So we've seen the patient at the ambulance and then I guess they bring the patient up here. Yeah, so next step would be depending on like the severity of the accident, they might now, go straight to This freaks me out, right? <laughs> Look at this. Wow. So, a real life ward situation here, then, yeah? Yeah, so these two are the high dependency units, so they're meant to reflect, like, if a patient's coming out of surgery or if they're in um, intensive care, they kind of come to these units. Um, the dummies. Are very very lifelike. They are, aren't they? So we expect them to just sit up in a minute. Yes, yeah, so the lecturer can control them with like a tablet. Um, no way. Yeah, so they can talk, they can breathe. You can take bloods from them. You can put fluids in, take fluids out, etc. So if you did, if you were training as a nurse, especially like first years, they might come in here, and if they did the wrong thing, they can just make the patient crash or something yeah oh my god so there's cameras dotted around as well so right. the lecturers can go and sit in a different room and oh, control, see, oh, and yeah, control yeah, the dummies so there's a camera there yeah one there it's a bit of big brother but right so they can kind of so it's not really just watching over them yeah. and they can recreate that real life scenario out of out of the room yeah so i think it's really important especially again like first year um students getting that placement experience and this is the most real life you can get without having actually the patient in the bed um, so it's good that you can get this experience before you go out on the wards. It's crazy. So, yeah. How things have moved on it. Do you remember when we liked it first aid in school and stuff and it was just half a, a dummy, half you know? Dummy. And now they, now they speak. control, yeah. Also, uh, interesting, if you're watching this and you think, well, I'm too old to be a student. I met a lady here uh, last open day. She lived in Coventry, she was sick of her job and she thought, do you know what? I really want to get into nursing. And she'd come to an open day just to see if it was for her. And she got in touch recently. She's now in her second year. She's going to be working at uh, Coventry University Hospital. So it doesn't matter what age you are, whether you're somebody that's just finishing A-levels or you're a bit old and you think, oh, I just want a complete change of career. It's really worth getting in touch with the university because there are so, so many options. A bit more about you, Charlotte. How long have you been at the university? So I'm a second year sport exercise science student. So okay. 82 years. Um, Obviously, this building's only been open a year, so it's very, very new. So I am my first year in James Stalin. That was a very old building, very, wasn't it? Very old, traditional building. So to come from there to this amazing new building, um, it's incredible. Like We've got so many state-of-the-art facilities that are rare for anybody. So And I'd say because it's so new, it's probably, I'm just putting it out there, one of the best in the UK is facility-wise. Like you said, I mean, yeah. I've never heard of something like that. Um, I think there's... Only a few universities, I believe, that have like obviously walls like this. Um, even with the houses, I think they might be the only university in the UK that have houses built into a university building. Wow. It's quite a surreal when we go into the houses. It feels really weird to walk into a house. Look at IK really showroom. Really, I've heard yeah. we'll check those out. So what else have we got in this building that's worth checking out? Um, so these are the general wards, but because obviously the open days, I don't really want to walk in. But um, these are the general wards, so they've got kind of some of the equipment they use. So the weird skin masks, um, you can get actors and they just put a skin mask on and they, it could be a lecturer, it could be someone they've got in from the public or another student. So they can sit up in the beds and they can be different people. You can change the blinds and the curtains to like children, so you can do the children's wow, nursing in okay. here. So we've got the nurses station as well. I was going to say, yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but they've got like a, a real life nurse situation. Do you know what, it's actually probably better than a normal hospital. I mean, it's 
So nice. But they've tried to give that real life effect. And like you say, again, I know it's all the cameras around each bed. And obviously they're in, like you said, so the electric doesn't have to be in the room and yeah. they control everything remotely. So one of the control rooms is just in here. So they can sit in and they control things. Um, all the gases and stuff and buttons on the sides work as well. Right. So it's all very realistic. And again, it's just getting that practical experience before or during on your placements and getting that kind of... You can make any mistakes here before you go and do it do in the real room. life. Yeah. yeah. So we've done the ambulance. The patients in the ambulance they get brought up, uh, brought up to the hospital mm -hmm. into a ward, and then after the ward, where next? So they can either, if it's something severe, they can go to the operating theatre. So there is an operating theatre. Yeah. Right? So this is for the operating departmental practice team. Right. So. It's, it's quite surreal, it's like you've got to drive right that me. There's a great theatre, there's a bathroom so it can be good free as well. Um, you can see the pictures of the uh, trainee nurses with the fake babies. A lot of lectures going on. Yes, it's quite good place, it's, like, it's very flexible so we can move things around, get chairs in, get chairs out. So again, there's more flexible clinical space. This is kind of the midwifery area. Oh, wow. We've got the birth and pool, birth and chair. Wow. And there's the baby. The baby that can breathe and cry and stuff. So it's quite impressive. So this is deliberately placed next to the operating theatre. So they can transfer if they need to find an emergency C-section. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Can we have it up in there? Yeah, I'll do it. Well, we're live, we may as well show you because I mean, these facilities are unbelievable. So, this is the operating theatre. So, again, like I said, it's for operating departmental practice that I mainly use. It's also about, again, with the patient journey, but also being able to liaise with different courses. So, obviously, the paramedics might have to bring someone up straight for emergency surgery, or they might have to go through the ward. And it's about the different people and the different courses being able to communicate with each other because, in a real life placement in a hospital, they're going to have to talk to different people with different jobs and um, so got a lot of equipment in yeah. here everything works it's unbelievable i mean i've visited this building before but i haven't been into these these sections and, and it's, it literally is like you are at a hospital which is great for somebody who wants you know to get into that sector so these are the theatres and then we're near we're near the houses so, so ah, right. the houses. i've heard a lot about these houses so the idea, what's the idea of having houses stroke apartments in, in a building like this? So again, it's about the, the practical element. So is this like so, the aftercare? Yeah, so the physiotherapists, occupational therapists mainly use these houses as a way of being able to treat people. So one, house A is non-disabled adapted, whereas house B has been fully adapted with automatic doors and I'll show you with like the bathroom and stuff. So it's about being able to, as like a physio, being able to help someone recover, but obviously with a different environment. This is so weird. So um, these houses are also used by paramedics, obviously being able to walk in with like certain dangers. So if we have someone lying on the floor, just gonna have, just gonna have a bowl of soup. Don't mind. Oh, wow, <laughs> it's got, they, they literally have thought everything. of everything. This, yeah. I could move in here, it's nice. So forensic investigation, I believe, also used this place. So they set up crime scenes in certain wow. rooms and stuff. Um, there's also cameras in here again. Like Big Brother. Yeah, so it's even weirder in the house with cameras, but everything works. So the kitchen, it all works. Like the washroom and stuff. So obviously this is meant to reflect a non-disabled adapted, so everything's kind of at a normal level so the cupboards you have to reach up so obviously if you're in a wheelchair it's a lot more difficult or other disabilities i mean they literally have put everything in yeah you could live here but not with all the cameras <laughs> so, this is amazing i feel like i should turn all the lights off it wasn't really the problem. there's more stairs than like a normal i was house. gonna say it's very big but again as you go upstairs it's all Into like a normal house, so little office space. Oh, cool. With a bathroom as well. So obviously, when you look at the bathroom, all they've got is like a little hoist. Um, whereas in the other one, there's a huge bathroom and it's got all the disabled adaptation. Again, with the bedroom,
there's not much access to being able to get in and out of the bed, stuff like that. So if we go through to home B, even the doors in home B are automatic, so when we scan in, they open up. So, th so this is a, uh, a, a disabled accessed house? Yeah. And how it would be adapted in real life, hopefully? Yeah, so this is probably your best... Wow. Best situation you can get for um, someone with a disability to be able to access a bathroom like this. So the beautiful wall mount on the wall to get you in and out of the bath. Um, in on and off the toilet, there's also the sink. You can get the wheelchair you're right on. Um, everything's very accessible, and obviously from like a physio or an occupational therapist perspective, this would be their best case scenario of being oh, able cool. to get someone used to living by themselves and caring for themselves. I, I, I... This says to me as well, this would help people that want to get into the care sector, working yeah. in care homes and looking Definitely, after, yeah. you know. So it kind of, it's very multi-purpose, yeah. these, these two houses. It's incredible that we've got it. I mean, this is like really, really, really new. How, how old is this building? It was opened in September last wow. year. So yeah, so it was very, very new. Okay, this is amazing. Very impressive, I have to say. Yeah, so if we head downstairs, we'll show you the kitchen. You'll be able to tell the difference. Stuff, but this is the kitchen, so where JD stood, you can move the oh, good, wow, up and down. You can also move the cupboards in and out as well. I mean, what? So it's all accessible to someone with a disability. Um, also, in the drawers, there's things like curved spoons, and forks, and stuff, so it's very accessible to everyone that needs anything. Amazing, amazing, right. So that's the apartments. Uh, where should we go next? So we'll go oh, this yeah. way. Sorry, everyone. Please ask the camera guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get on Facebook. Like I say, it's an open day today, so there are lots of live tours going on. If you want to know more, then check out the Coventry University website. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and the team will get back to you. So where are we going to next, Charlotte? Straight up to the fourth floor. Straight up. We might lose you in the lift. I mean, we can take the stairs if you want. We might, will we lose? I'm asking the camera. Will um, we lose you in the lift? We may Probably. do, but we'll be back we'll if be we back. do lose. Okay. Um, Stay with us. If we go, we apologise, but we should be back. So we're going to the which one we're we going Four to? Lab. Lab Plus. Right. There you go. You can have a look at exactly what's in here on each floor. You're, you're from Birmingham, aren't you? Yeah. So, be honest with me, why didn't you pick a university for you that was closer to home in Birmingham? Why did you pick Coventry? So, for being completely honest, um, Uni Birmingham was my first choice. Uh, I didn't get the grades for it. But reflecting on that, and I know a few friends that are in the same situation, kind of glad. Like, I feel like Coventry kind of fits me and the person I am, so I'm kind of the person that wants to have the extra support so my lecturers are incredibly friendly so i can just sit down and have a chat with them about anything that i possibly need so um, one thing you said to me even off camera is that one thing you loved about this university was the lectures are so personable there you build a great relationship with them and actually it's very different to a levels and, and gcse's in that it's teacher pupil whereas here it's actually you feel like you're at a level with them right yeah definitely there's no like lack of, not lack of respect to a sense, but it's all very grounded and they talk to you like, because we are adults now, like we've gone past the stage of high school and sixth form, but it's very adult to adult and you can Which is what you would hope university yeah. would be, right? Yeah, definitely. So I turn around, if I'm feeling stressed about something, I can just drop an email to my lecturer and they'll come and meet me for half an hour, maybe go for a coffee or something. It just make me feel a lot more chilled out and like university can be a very stressful and emotional experience, but I feel like if you come to Coventry, there's always going to be someone there for you, so that's really good. Okay, where to next? Okay. 
Thank you if you're still with us. I know it's been a while, but we really wanted to show you the facilities of this amazing building, just in case you can't make an open day. And this is something you want to get into. So we'll just show you the lab. Now, we can't actually go all the way into the lab because you'll notice you have to wear special clothing. Um, do we need to get hold of someone's attention? Should we try and get some allowed? No, it's not allowed. See, it's... These are, these are actually amazing. Um, I've had the chance to look in these, but you have to be dressed right to go into these. Yeah, you usually have the lab coat off. Yeah. Scrub up. So, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to get in, um, and it looks like there's an activity going on. So, do you want to explain what's here? So, this whole floor is just one giant lab, so you might be able to see it briefly through here, but it's all one giant lab. It can be used for different classes at the same time. So when you go in, so if you're there for a biomed course or um, pharmacology or something like that, you can go in, you get a headset, you get a little tablet, and you just kind of, it's like a radio station. So you kind of tune in to which class you want and you're just there and you're working your own station. So it's very multi-purpose. Um, and it's it's very impressive. There's a lot of new high-tech equipment. There's a lovely view from there as well, but we can't show you. <laughs> um, it's nice, it's nice that they can come up and this is their whole this is their whole area, so it's all on the fourth floor for them guys. So if you want to come and experience this for yourself, uh, if you're local or around, feel free to come down to Coventry University uh, today. It's open day until 3.30. If you come in by train, there's shuttle buses from the station. There's free parking as well. Just follow the yellow AA signs and that'll get you into uh, one of the car parks. If you can't make it today, uh, just check out the website. There's plenty of other open days. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it as a comment, tweet at Cough Campus or email from the website. Charlotte, thank you. Uh, from me, JD, have yourself a great Saturday. Thanks for being with us.